Yeah, and I was really just struggling with the whole like, well, God, if you're there, then prove it. Prove it to me. Like, show me that you're there. That was all the proof that I needed to be a believer. Uh, right before we got to this church, um, you know, I had went into sixth grade and, you know, I was super excited for sixth grade because I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get a locker, like, <laughs> until I found this one group and they were really accepting, but they were atheists and none of them believed in God. They all like drove God's name through the dirt and like, they were like, well, if God really exists, then he would show us, like he would prove it. And then I started to have that mindset, really. I was like, well, yeah, I mean, like if he was real, then he would show us. Then a couple weeks after that um, is when I started be having suicidal thoughts and when I just, I did not want to live anymore. I was like, this is just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I went to therapy for it. Um, maybe like a month or so into therapy is whenever I actually went through the process of harming myself. And then, you know, she like just started throwing all these questions at me. She was like, well, why did you do it? And I didn't even have an answer for them. I was just like, if I'm being honest, it was the devil. Devil really got in my head that day. My parents, they were like, they went from having like this really sweet, optimistic, like bubbly, dressed in pink, had bows in her hair, girl. Yeah, I was like that shocker. <laughs> um, to this like depressed, angsty teen really. While all this was going on, I was still in the thought process of like, God's not real. Like he, he just, he can't be real because uh, I grew up in church and I kept on hearing all these stories and like stuff that God did in the Bible. And I was like, that can't be real. That couldn't have happened, you know? So the more that I kind of hung out in the church and like, you know, going to Wednesdays, hanging out with the youth and stuff like that, um, you know, I started paying attention more to the lessons and what's been going on. But then Generate happened. And that is honestly whenever things started to change. There was one night where, um, you know, um, the preacher had like this really uh, powerful lesson. I remember him telling his God experience and like how he felt uh, this weight on his chest and he was like sitting at his desk and there was like a weight on his chest about school and stuff like that. And then he called out to God and said, God, uh, please take this weight off of my chest. And then in that same moment, I felt this weight on my chest. It was about death, you know, because I've been struggling with that for a long time because I didn't have anything to look forward to. And then I got this overwhelming feeling and it was like, I'm gonna die. Like, and it's like, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna be dead. Like, nothing's gonna happen. I don't have anything to look forward to. Like, in my mind, I was thinking, God, please, 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 just get this weight off of my chest. You know, like, it's killing me. And then in that, in that instant, it just, like, like this wave of peace just like flew over me. And I was like, I called out and then it happened. So I'm like, this has to be God. Honestly, this new side feels really great. You know, like I'm not depressed 24 seven. You know, I still have my moments, but I'm human. <laughs> and I've been praying a lot more. And I think that's what's been helping is just talking to God and having a conversation with them. And, you know, before it was very like, oh, church, we have church. <laughs> you know, like at least I'll get to see some of my friends at church. Uh, that's how it used to be. But now I'm like, yay, I get, to, <laughs> I get to learn the word of God. You know, I get to worship and praise him, you know. And like, I didn't realize back then that God had a plan and everything that happens happens for a reason. In Philippians, we, we see that it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Brooklyn.
-hmm. who is the Lord of your life? Jesus Christ. By your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank <laughs> you.